What's up everybody, Brian here, Carolina Bushwhacker. All right, I'm down here in the finishing house. I got these deer that I've got mounted in the drying stage and they'll get airbrushed next and ready to go home. Here, let me show you a couple. All right, this one right here I did for a fella. He wanted it in the aggressive pose. So, came out pretty good, a little muscular. Looking like the Arnold Schwarzenegger here, the deer. That's the way it's supposed to look. I got a young man's first eight pointer that's pretty good. Got a couple of other little ones. And then I got a couple of big bucks here. Now I'm going to talk to y'all about how to choose which pose works best for your deer. And what I'm talking about is not the space you have in your home and where you're going to hang it up at. You may want a left turn, but your rack really should be presented to a right turn. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, we're going to start right here with these three racks right here. They're pretty symmetrical, but there is something about them that would make my decision to make a left turn or a right turn. Here, I'm going to show you starting with this one. So as you can see on this one, his right side stands up higher than his left. And then this one is kind of the opposite. His left side sticks up higher than the right. So whichever side sticks up higher is the direction that I would suggest to turn it. See, that way you can see over the lower side into the higher side. You don't have the higher side kind of blocking your lower side. So if it's higher on the right side, right turn. Higher on the left side, left turn. This one right here, is pretty much about as symmetrical as you can get he is a touch higher on his left side so i would go with the left turn now you get into certain ones like these right here that are real symmetrical then you got to take and just kind of stare at them for a minute this one right here right side's just a hair higher so boom right turn this one right here is pretty well balanced, but what would make my decision on the turn is that characteristic that you see right here in the tie. Really unique. So I would suggest that that one right there gets turned to the right, not shielding it so that you can see it. Now, See the tag right there on this one. This guy shot this big old buck right here and didn't find him for a whole month. And he, he come and he got with me and he had the head. It was kind of stinky. The, the front of uh, the nose bones all been chewed off by raccoons or coyotes or something. And he wanted me to put it onto an artificial European skull. And I asked him, I said, well, if you'd have found that buck that day you shot it, what would you done with it? And he, I'd have you do a shoulder mount. So I told him, I said, well, guess what? I think I got a spare cape that we can still do that. He was tickled to death. So I'm going to take and shoulder mount that one for him. And actually the one right here behind it is kind of a pie ball buck. Oh man, that thing's really nice. I can't wait to do that one. All right, well here, let me show you these racks. Now these racks are almost kind of self-explanatory when you look at them. And uh, you can tell right there, looking at that one, that one needs to be a left turn. Now, anytime that I run across any that have broken tines on them, I never turn it with the broken tine towards the wall. I turn it the opposite way with the full side towards the wall. That way you can see across the broken to the full side. Now, Got this big old wide one over here. And what I would do is this side sticks down a little lower. So this would be a left turn. And then this big old jumbo buck right here measured 130 inches. This is a big South Carolina buck. Now he's pretty symmetrical. He's got an extra little point right here, which I would turn it that way. But one other reason I'm gonna turn it this way 
as you can see above his eye guards right there, brow tines, G1s, whatever you want to call them. He's got them extra kicker sticker points right there. So we're definitely going to turn this one to the right, which will work out for everything. Like I said, that's a big South Carolina buck right there. All right, I hope this helped out a few of y'all for this upcoming deer season when you make a harvest to which pose would work best with your antlers. All right, well, I got to get back to fleshing and tanning and more mountain. We got rain the next few days. It's been raining on and off the last few days. As soon as this rain passes and clears up for a few days, I'm going to jump back on the trap line. Me and a buddy of mine, we're going to go do a little bit of coyote calling. All right, well, like always, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Do me a favor, hit the like button. I'm going to keep bringing the content. Thanks for watching, guys.